saints of God. Good, happy morning. Good morning. Another day that the Lord has made. Good morning. Good morning. Gonna rejoice and be glad in it. Yes. Good morning, saints Hallelujah. of God. Good morning, Sister Maddie. Sister Good Maddie won the Sister Maddie's on it this morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Amen. Tasha. Good morning. Hallelujah. Okay, Thank you, Jesus. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. There, Brother Donald is. <laughs> All right. <laughs> good morning. Hallelujah. All right. Miss Angie, Miss Hattie, Sister Rose. God bless you guys. Good morning. Sister Brenda. All right. Y'all coming in on the line? God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Sister Phyllis McDonald. God bless you. Good to see you. Hallelujah. Amen. Sister Marcia. Where's Sharonda? Gone, girl. All right, God bless you guys. Ooh, oops, Brother Clayton. All right, watching all the way from Melbourne. Sister Camille, Sister Vaughn. All right, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good blessed morning. Amen. Good morning, good morning. All right. So good to see you guys coming in on the line this morning. We're excited about the Word of God. Hopefully you enjoyed this past week. And God has more Word for us, more Word. Can't live without the Word. Impossible. Cannot live without the Word. Man shall not live. By bread alone. Everywhere. By every word, yes. Every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. And when you understand how powerful the word of God is, you'll use it every chance you get. You'll, you'll, you'll seek after it every chance you get. Keep it in your mouth. You'll keep it in your mouth every chance you get. We will not let it depart out of your mouth. Yes, and, and it's not just in your mouth. We want it down in your soul. We want it right. down in your spirit. We want it down in so that we can live out what God has placed within us. Yes, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. All right, share, 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 share. You know the ministry routine. We're asking you to begin sharing this feed. Help us spread the gospel. Help us spread the word of yes. God. Help us spread yes. what thus saith the Lord. You know, you are a royal priesthood, mm -hmm. so we have to do priestly duties. All right. And the Lord told us that that we are ambassadors. Yes. That means we've been sent here on a mission. We've been sent here on a mission and we cannot allow ourselves to get polluted with the things of this world. Mm -hmm. We cannot allow ourselves to become, Paul says, entangled in right. this world. Uh, we are soldiers, we've been sent here and we gotta do mm -hmm. battle now like never before mm -hmm. because yes. everything that is happening. Yeah. So we want uh, to continue with this series on fear mm -hmm. and i'm always amazed you know when i look up words and and and, and study uh words how many times words are used in the bible and when you come to fear wow. it is so frequent it is so often yes. you got fear you got frightened you got terrified you got distressed those synonyms for fear it is just so many times used and yes. since we know that the bible is a very select selected book as far as what went into the word of god uh, those things were selected by God himself, then we understand that fear was going to be a major problem. And we have to continue to study this. And we just thank God for the time that we're living in. We do thank him for that because he said in everything, give thanks. Yes. Got to get that in everything, yes. give thanks. So it's an opportunity. Those mm -hmm. two words, remember those words, opportunity and purpose. Yes. And we're here for a purpose, not here by accident, coincident. God meant for us to be here. I'm going to say that again. Yes. God meant for us to be here mm -hmm. during the pandemic, mm -hmm. during the unrest, during mm -hmm. the injustice, during Thank everything, you. the hurricanes that are happening, um, the, the plagues of locusts, the plagues of birds, all of that that is happening now on our planet. God meant for us to be here. So we will rejoice and be yes. glad in it. Yes. So we have something uh, on fear and the Psalms are so loaded mm -hmm. with with. Mm -hmm with encouragement of mm -hmm. not to fear. Uh, yes, you know, and I, yes, I think that most yes. of them are written by David. And David was a person that the enemy came in on to try to destroy him. Uh, the shepherd boy, the little shepherd boy. 
the fear, the intimidation, the bullying. The devil's a bully. Mm -hmm. And what keeps him off of us is the word of God. What destroys him, what pushes him back. He can do all the huffing and puffing he wants to, but he ain't blowing nothing down. And the things that he has mm -hmm. taken, the Bible says he has to restore seven times. Now that's word. Mm -hmm. So we just thank God for this time. And first lady, we're going to let you, 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 you loaded and ready for this, <laughs> this word this morning. Going to follow your lead this morning. You've got a lot right. to say concerning this 118 Psalms. Yes, we're in the 118, 118 Psalms. Psalms. And I believe it has what, 29, 29 ver verses? 29 yes. verses. Yes. Can't get to all of them today, mm -hmm. but uh, we're going to focus on those key verses. Yes, yeah, so we're going to be doing verses 1 through and including verse number 17. So this is Psalms 118, yes. verses 1 through 17. Yes. Um, now, um, this is Thursday. I kind of get a little ahead of myself sometimes. And I, I thought this was Fearless Friday <laughs> when I woke up. But this is Thankful Thursday. Yes. This is Thankful Thursday. Yes, it and is. And we'll all give thanks unto the Lord. And, and our psalm begins with thanksgiving. Yes, Our absolutely. psalm today is so befitting for today. Right. And so for Thursday that we call Thankful Thursday, it reads in Psalms 118, verses 1 through 17, it says, Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, because his mercy endureth forever. Let Israel now say that his mercy endureth forever. Let the house of Aaron now say that his mercy endureth forever. Let them now that fear the Lord say, that his mercy, mercy endureth forever. I called upon the Lord in distress. The Lord answered me and set me in a large place. Large place. The Lord is on my side. I will not fear. There, there it is. It is. Whoops, yep. there, there it is. is. <laughs> I will not fear. Will not. What can man do unto me? Yes. The Lord taketh my part with them that help me. Therefore, I shall see my desire upon them that hate me. It is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in man. It is better to trust yes. in the Lord yes. than to put confidence yes. in princes. Yes. All nations come past yes. me about, but yes. in the name of the Lord, I will destroy them. They compass me about, yea, they compass me about. But in the name of the Lord, I will destroy them. They compassed me about like bees. They quenched as the fire of thorns. Wow. For in the name of the Lord, I will destroy them. Thou hast thrust sore at me that I might fall. But the Lord helped me. The Lord is my strength and my song. Wow. And is become my salvation. my salvation. The voice of rejoicing and salvation is in the tabernacles of the righteous. The right hand of the Lord doth valiantly. Yes. The right hand of the Lord is, is, is exalted. Yes. The right hand of the Lord doeth valiantly. <laughs> I shall not die but live That's it. and declare the works, works of, of the Lord. Right. And let all God's people say, Amen. Amen. And amen. All right, Pastor. We talking about thanksgiving and trust in God removes fear. Yes. So good. the psalmist here begins in Psalms 118 with, Oh, thanks unto the Lord. For he is good. You know, we, we say this this little cliche. We say this thing that the Lord is good. Yes. And, and the response is all the time. And all the time. God is good. Let's say good. it again. The Lord is good. All the time. And all the time. God is good. So when we understand <laughs> how good God is, we, uh, we, we, we have to look and see God is good because of what? Because his mercy endures forever. Now, that's his loving kindness. That's the love of God. That, that's equated. His mercy is equated here in this Old Testament word to God's love. And it's linked to his grace and his compassion. His love, his grace, 
and his compassion. Yes. So he says his love never fails. His love never quits. His mercy, his love, it endures forever. forever. How, how long is forever? Forever. How long is forever? Forever, forever? Is it just for a day? Is it just as for a month? Is lives. it just for a year? Is it just for a decade? Is it just for a century? How long is forever? Forever is throughout all eternity. Yes. It will never fail. Yes. It will never stop. It will never quit. Now he begins with, you know, telling Israel in verse 2. Now let Israel say. His mercy endures forever. He's, yes. he's pointing out specific and particular people to say, right. because they should know. Israel should know that his mercy endures, endures forever. forever. All that they've been through, all that, that God has seen them through, his mercy endures forever. forever. Then he says, let the house of Aaron say, now this is the priesthood. This is yes. the leaders. This, yes. These are the Levites. These yes. are the people in authority. These are the people in position to represent God. He said, now let all the house of Aaron say, let his mercy endure forever. But he doesn't stop with the Jews and he doesn't stop with the, the Jewish priesthood. He moves on to verse 4 and he says, let them now that fear the Lord reverence God. say that his mercy endures forever. That, that's you and I, brothers yes. and sisters. That's yes. the Gentiles. That's yes. everybody else that can come into play. His we mercy. Can, yes, endureth. Forever. We his, need to say yes, that. Yes, his mercy. Endureth. Forever. Forever. So you got to say that with us. His mercy endureth forever. And so we see how God has included everybody in here. Yes, yes. The psalmist has included everybody in here. So you can't say, well, I'm not an uh, Israelite and I'm not of the house of Aaron. I'm not a Jew. I'm not a Hebrew. I don't, you know, I'm not a black Hebrew. I'm not a black Jew. I'm not, you know, how we've gone off on tangents. But, but right now, the psalmist is saying no matter who you are, you can, you can boldly proclaim that his mercy endureth forever. Now, the Bible talks about the mercy of God in so many different ways. It talks about Jesus is the father of mercy. My, my. He yes. is the father of mercies. Yes. Now, Jesus is the father of mercies. So when you understand that your father is a father of mercies, well, you can come boldly to the, to throne, the throne of, of grace, grace to obtain mercy. And when you understand that he is great in mercy, the Bible says. Yes. yes. He's the father of mercies. He is great in mercies. Then the Bible says his tender mercy. <laughs> His tender mercy is yes. gentle, it's kind, it's compassionate. His tender mercy right. is toward his people. Then he says, Double the positive. Yes, the sure mercies of David. The sure mercies of God. The sh his mercies are sure. They, yes. they are positive. They are unfailing. They are unfaltering. Oh, they, the sure mercies, it, it's coming to pass. He's going to give you mercy. New mercies yes. you saw and I saw on this morning. Yes. Great is his faithfulness. Then he talks about the abundant mercies of God. The abundant wow. mercy. So you got Jesus, the Father of mercies. Then you've got his great mercy. Then you've got his tender mercy. Wow. You've got his sure mercies. You, and then you've got his abundant mercies. Praise God and thank God for mercy this morning. Thank God for his mercy. Hallelujah. Mercy, mercy is the loving kindness of God. Mercy is the, the goodness of God. Mercy is the compassion and grace of God. Brothers and sisters, you and I have something to praise God for. So when the psalmist begins this psalm saying, Oh, give thanks, thanks unto, unto the Lord. Lord. He's good. For he is good. He is good because his mercies, Pastor. Endures. Endures forever. forever. You know, sometimes we say stuff we don't really think about. It. You know, you can get in a you can get in the in in the habit of just saying stuff in busyness and not really think about it. The psalmist wants us to think about it. Mm -hmm. So he repeats this phrase yes. four times. Yes, four yes, times. Yes. He starts off, he starts off repeating this phrase. He's not tongue tied. It's not that he don't know what to say. His, his, pen, his tongue is like the pen of a ready writer yes. and he's inspired by God and God is leading him and he's and he wants us to think about his mercy. Yes. And you know, one of the ways we distinguish between mercy and grace is, on, is that yes. mercy is when God doesn't 
give us what we deserve. Exactly. You yes. know, I mean, we deserve punishment and God, his mercy keeps that from happening. So when it says his mercy is new every morning, mm -hmm. that he has given us, he has given us mercy concerning those things that, that should destroy us. He has given us mercy in place of justice. I know yes. we cry out, I yes. want justice. Yes. But when it comes to God, I don't want justice. I want mercy. Mm -hmm. I want mercy. Yes. So he starts off talking about his mercy and he repeats it four times. Because we get so busy that we can say stuff and, and, and we can... We got little phrases and cute phrases, blessed and highly favored. Lord God, we need to, to touch, heal, and deliver. We got a whole lot of phrases, but to stop and actually meditate, think about his mercy. Yes. Mm -hmm. And we need new mercies every day. Mm -hmm. Yes, we do. New mercy. Yes. We all yes. need yes. new yes. mercies yes. every yes. day. It yes. is the mercies of God. So when you think about that, we need those new mercies every day. Hallelujah. Those new mercies, we need them every, mm -hmm. every day. So it's so important that we understand that we have those new mercies mm -hmm. every day. Yes. So to think about it, and that's what he's trying to get us to do. He's trying to get us to be still, pause, mm -hmm. free your mind of the clutter, focus, focus on his mercies. Don't multitask with it. Just think one simple thought, his mercy. I'm going to need that today. Mm -hmm. Yes. People that are imperfect need mercy. Mm -hmm. That includes all, all, of, all us. of us. The all only of person us. that wouldn't need all mercy would be, would be Jesus because he is perfect. But if you're imperfect, you're going to need mercy. So mm -hmm. God knows that he gives it to us every day. And they're new. Now, I'm thankful, First Lady, that he doesn't run out. Yeah. Because you can't re you, you can't rebake, rehash mercy. It has to be new. So I'm okay. glad that God okay. has an abundance of mercy. Yes. So yes. these first four verses, he wants us to just Thank he wants us to take he wants us to stop, pause, mm -hmm. kind of sit back mm -hmm. and think about the mercies that we're receiving right mm -hmm. now. I mean, with, every time we inhale, exhale, able to breathe, able to talk, able to think, all that is mercies. Because we know that we don't deserve that. Mm -hmm. We right. deserve death. We deserve what Jesus did for mm -hmm. us. Yeah. What, what Jesus went through. That's what we deserve. Mm -hmm. But because of his mercies. Thank you, Jesus. And they endure forever. They don't, mm -hmm. they don't, they don't run out. Thank you, you, Jesus. you don't hear the Lord says, well, my mercies. I'm getting, I'm getting tired of mercy. No, no, no. Rationing. It's, no. It's, it's, yeah, it's an abundance yes, of mercy yes. every day. Yes, God doesn't have to ration his mercy. He right. Does, he doesn't have to um, put it on a, well, we run out of stimulus checks or we run out of money. We run, he's not going to run out of mercies. He's not going to run out of um his unfailing mercy. He's abundant in mercy. He's sure in mercy. He's, the Bible says in Ephesians chapter 2, verse 4, he is rich yes. in mercy. Rich in <laughs> He's rich in mercy. Rich in And we understand he's rich in mercy. The Bible teaches us that mercy is on them that fear him from generation to generation. From generation to generation, he's going he's gonna to be merciful. He's not just merciful to one generation, but he'll be merciful to our children. He'll be merciful to our grandchildren. He was merciful to our parents. He was merciful, right. merciful to our grandparents. He was right. merciful to our great-grandparents. His mercy endureth forever. forever. He's Thank not going to run out of mercy. Now, mercy, you, some of the things that mercy does, and Pastor Gabe, you know, let you understand the difference between um, mercy and grace, where mercy is holding back the penalty that right. you and I deserve. Right. He, he, his mercy, he shows clemency. Yes. He yes. shows kindness unto us. Yes. And, and he, he removes our, our um, the, the thing that has put us in prison, the thing that has imprisoned us. He removes that. Um, he pardons us. He, he gives us clemency. And so, um, when we think of mercy, mercy reduces penalties. Mercy shows and and um, it shares, what I want to say, mercy shares in like scarce resources. And it simply feels for the plight of someone else, of the plight of another. Mercy yes. mercy is never self selfish. 
Mercy is always selfless. Mercy always thinks about somebody else, to show somebody else mercy, to give somebody else clemency, to give somebody else kindness. The Bible teaches us that in Matthew 5 and 7, in the Beatitudes, the Bible says, Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain Obtained. mercy. Right. Now, if you're merciful, yes. you're going to get mercy. Yes, If absolutely. you're merciful to other people, absolutely. God's going to bless you with mercy. Absolutely. He, he, he daily loads us with benefits, and he reigns on the just as well as the unjust. And he, he gives us new mercies every morning. But if you want to really receive some more mercy from God, because it's abundant, it's never going to run out. It, it's like a well that never runs dry. Right. God's mercy endures forever. He says, be merciful. Bless are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. And he wants us to show the same mercy that, that, that we show to, that he shows to us. He wants yes. us, Pastor, to show that to one another. Absolutely. And if we don't show that, then the, you know, the Bible says that we're to forgive others' trespasses as God forgives ours. Yes. That's a huge thing. That, that's yes. a huge thing yes. that we have to yes. understand. And we have to understand this mercy in this day of incredible hatred, mm -hmm. in this wow. day where the enemy has really surfaced wow. the hatred and all of that. We must show mercy yes. because he is a very merciful God. He's a very merciful God, and we thank him for that. So, so. Uh, when you understand mercy, then we're not like the high priest. We talked about this a little bit on last night and we'll continue that flow. You know, the high priest, he couldn't come in boldly before the Lord. Mercy allows us to come in boldly because we're not, we're not fearful of the penalty. We're not fearful of the penalty of our imperfections. We're not fearful of the penalty of, of what is going on what is happening we're not fearful of that so his mercies yes. his mercies his mercies yes. endure it for ever yes. it is always there because then we can we can we can walk in and we can understand he's our heavenly father he's daddy he's abba mm -hmm. and 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 all that all that fear that trepidation that that dread we don't have that and that's the difference between the old covenant and the new covenant. We have not come to the mountain where there's thundering and right, lightning right, right, and people right, are terrified. Right. And even Moses is afraid because of, of just the awesomeness of God and the dread and the punishment that if somebody touches the mountain or an animal touches the mountain, we come in relationship with them. And you know what? If, we, if you don't study God's word, we don't understand the privilege that is. We don't understand the privilege that we have in the new covenant that people that the, the great people we study in the word of god they didn't have that privilege that we have to come to come and it's because of the mercy he has extended to us because of the death of his son jesus christ mm -hmm. so when we understand that we understand what god has done for us and he, we are his children. He's yes. our father, and he's the yes. father of mercy. Yes. We should um, take on the characteristics of our father. Absolutely. We should exemplify and portray and display mercy. Micah 6 and 8 says, He has showed thee, O man, what doth the Lord require of thee. He says, He has showed thee, O man, what is good. Yes. And what doth the Lord require of thee but to do justly, to love mercy, and to walk humbly with thy God. So he's telling us what the Lord has showed unto us, what he's looking for us, because he is, he is daily loading us with mercy. He's, he's, he's opening up the windows of heaven and pouring out mercy, new mercies yes. every day. And so those first four verses, we see a psalm of thanksgiving for the mercy of God. And it's kind of this... This, this psalm is set up to, to be for a chorus, for a choir. Yes. The soloist was, was soloist will come in with, oh, give thanks unto the Lord for he is good. And the choir would come back behind him and say, for his mercy endureth forever. You, you have you, everybody involved in this. Everybody involved. Get the children involved in praise. Get the children involved in thanksgiving. Get get everybody in the house involved in worship and thanksgiving. But he's, he says in verse number four, after he talks about the mercies of God. He says, I called upon the Lord in distress. Yes. The Lord answered me and set me in a large place. 
He says, I called upon the Lord in trouble. This is, this, is, this is really a messianic psalm dealing with the second coming of Jesus Christ. We're not going to do the whole psalm. We're just going to go down to verse 17. But just looking at this psalm, I called upon the Lord in distress. Have you ever been in distress? Distress is a place of trouble. Distress is a place of pain. Distress is a place of frustration. Distress is a place of, of you don't know what to do. You and yes. I don't know what to do situation. Right. Right. Distress is, is not a good place to be in. He says, but I called on the Lord while I was in this pit. I called upon the Lord while I was in this, this prison. I called upon the Lord while I was in this place. And he says, the Lord answered me and set me in a large place. The Lord got me out of this. The Lord will get us out of whatever place of distress yes. we're in, yes. whatever place of trouble we're in, wherever, wherever we are in life that's distressful for us. Do you not know that God will answer us when we call upon him? He says, before you call, I will answer. I will answer. If you call upon the name of the Lord, if you call upon the name of the Lord, he says, I will be there. I'll, and I'll be there in that right early. And he said he called upon the Lord in his distress. Yes. Think about that. He called upon the Lord in his distress. This is a very distressing mm -hmm. time. Yes. See, this is why the word of God is so applicable to us today. It, when we look at the word of God, we can, we can relate. You know why? Because it's written for us. Mm -hmm. And that's one of the huge mistakes that many people in the world are making when they said the Bible is antiquated, it's outdated. No, mm -hmm. it was written in the past for the future. It's written for us. Yeah. So in the midst of our distress, what we're going to do, we're going to call upon the Lord. You know why? Because his mercy endureth forever. Yeah. He just wasn't merciful to Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, David, Elijah. He is merciful to us. Mm -hmm. And so he says he called on him in his distress. And that distress, you know, one of one of the pictures of salvation is deliverance and is deliverance from a tight place. Mm -hmm. When you think about salvation, it's a deliverance, you know, uh, being cramped and tight is like a prison. And, and the psalmist says that he called on the Lord. He answered me. Yes, so like yes, he, he, yes. he answered me and he and he set me mm -hmm. in a large place. In a large place. Mm -hmm. yes. He put me in a large place. Mm -hmm. yes. God doesn't want me to be cramped. Mm -mm. He won't be able to stretch out. <laughs> he put me in a you, large Jesus. place. Thank That's you. what he wants for his people. Mm -hmm. He told him now this now now the promised land is not gonna be like Egypt. Egypt the land was totally different. It was not a prosperous land. You had to irrigate it. It took a lot of effort to get water there. Yes. He said, But this land, the land that flows with milk and honey. Yes. This land, this large place, I'm going to give you plenty of room. And see, so the psalmist says in his distress, he called on the Lord because he, he could, it felt as though life was crowding in on him. Mm -hmm. It felt as yes. though the walls was falling in on yes. him. Yes. It yes. felt as though everything was closing in. And when he called on the yes. Lord, yes. salvation, yes. he rescued me yes. and he set me. Yes. In a large place. Yes, one translation says that you were pushed to the wall. Yes. You're backed into a corner. You're in, you're in a tight place. You, you Remember we talked about um, that on yesterday. We talked about yes. being in, that, yes. in trouble. This yes. is a place of trouble. This is a tight place. This is a place where you, you can't move like normally. You this is, this, is a, this is a time where everybody's saying, this is not normal. This is not my normal. This, this, nothing is normal about this. And they want to, you know, the one thing first lady they said, I'm going to cut you off. The one thing they said is the new normal. I, I really don't, I don't, I don't like that because this ain't normal and we're not going to, we're not going to make it normal. You know, uh, certain things that happen, that is not, I understand what they're trying to say. I understand mm -hmm. what they're saying. Mm -hmm. This is the way it is for right now. Right. But this is not normal. Anytime you, make something normal that's not normal then yeah. what happens is the abnormal becomes your normal mm -hmm. this is abnormal mm -hmm. this is not what god wants for me and, and the thing about it, the reason why we say that is because we, we we declare this is not what the lord want for me this is not who i am this is not what he has ordained for me then whenever you release those words then what it helps you to do and helps you to see that that the promise that he has you reject what life brings and you declare what God wants for me.
So when we talk about being pushed up against the wall, yes. was pushed in a tight place, pushed yes. in a corner. This is this is not the abundant life. Right. He exactly. came. Jesus came that we exactly. might have life and that we might have it more, more abundantly. abundantly. And so so he, wants. he wants us to have and that more abundantly is is to the full and running over. Right. That's what that abundant life is. Right. Because he's abundant in mercy. So since he's abundant in mercy, he wants it to flow over. He wants the life that he gives unto, to, unto us to be a life brimming to the top, seeping over the over the edge, coming over the top, running over. Yes. So so he wants us to have not just enough, not just not just a little That's bit. Not who he is. Not not just not. You know, I'm rationing this out and I'm just giving you it's just enough for the day. You got to make this last for no, the rest of the day. Right. You got to make this last for the rest of the week. It's you got to make You know how we do with our paycheck sometimes? We got to yes. try to stretch it. Stretch it we got to try to make it last and we got to we got to try to make it um make it to the next payday. Yes. That's not God's will for us yes. to just be trying to barely make it. Right. He right. wants us to be living a life, the abundant life in Christ Jesus. A life to the brim, full and running over. He wants us to have this good life. He says, I called upon the Lord in my distress. Yes. And, and this is this is a point where we don't deny. Right. We don't right. deny distress. Right. right. We right. don't deny problems. We right. don't deny being backed up in a corner. We don't deny being pushed into a corner. But this is a time where we trust God. Yes. This is a time where we still praise God. Thanksgiving and trusting in God will remove all fear. It will help us repel fear in this distressful time because distressing times will bring fear. Yes. Distressing problems and situations will bring with it the fear. Remember we talked about all types of fears on yesterday. There are many, yes. many fears. Yes. And when distress comes, distress brings a partner with him. Distress brings a roommate with it. Distress yes. brings somebody with it called fear. And right. you've got to understand when distress comes, I will not fear. He says, the Lord answered me and set me in a large place. Large place. He set me in a place where I could breathe. Right. He set go. me in a place where I, you, I, you know, when people, it's, it's a phobia of being in small places. It's a phobia of being closed in. It's, it's claustrophobia. It's a phobia when you are in a tight, small place, and this distressful place brings claustrophobia. And so when you understand with this fear of claustrophobia, the Lord says, I hear you, and I'm bringing you out, and I'm going to put you in a large place so you, large have, place. you will have no reason to fear. I'm going to ex extend your borders. I'm going to extend extend your tents. I'm going to extend your territory. I'm going to extend your circumstances and your surroundings so that you understand that I am with you. That next verse says, the Lord is on my side. I will not fear. Will not. I will, will not. not fear. Will Even in the, this distressful time, I will not fear. I Why? Because not. the Lord is on my side. On How my do I side. know he's on my side? Because his mercy endures forever. Yes. How do I know his mercy endures forever? Because new mercies I saw this morning. We understand, we understand that the Lord is on our side. We will not fear. And he says, what can man do to me? Yes. He asked is. this question. Hey, God's on my side. So why should I fear? Who should I right. fear? We go back to Psalms 27. Whom shall I fear? Lord is my light. And my salvation. Whom shall I fear? Hashtag. What can man do unto me? The no Lord is fear. My... God is with me. No fear. God is with me. God is with you. God is on my side, the psalmist yes. said. He's on my side. He's, He's on with my me. Side. He's on, and he, when you, whenever God's on your side, you're on the winning team. So what can man do? What can man do unto me? What can, what can they say, think, or do? Life in that, it. That God can't conquer, that God yes. can't overcome. And so brothers and sisters, he says this verse six, the Lord is on my side. I will not fear. We've got to say Statement. that to ourselves. God is on my side. I will not fear. And, and you got to say it until you believe it. Right. You it just can't come out your mouth. You got to say it until you not only feel it, you got to say it till you believe it. And when you believe it, it takes on a new meaning. When it comes out of your mouth, it's not just words that you're reciting. You're not just 
quoting scripture. You are saying it because you believe it. You're saying it because you know it is fact. You say it yes. because you know it is true. You say it because you know God cannot lie. His word cannot lie. You say it because you know it brings life to it. When you speak it out of your mouth, you put life to it. You put breath to it. And anything you put life and breath to it, it becomes living. The living word. Right. And God's word will perform that. Death that is life. sent out to accomplish. Yes, the, the, you have the power in your mouth. Life and death are in the power yeah, of your tongue. tongue. So speak in the power life. of your mind. So you got to speak life. You got to got to say, I will not fear. You got to combat fear with, with, with some big talk. You got to talk yes. back. When fear starts talking to you, start talking back to it and mm. tell it what God says. You know what God says? I'm not going to even, I'm going to remove that, that, that. That, that thing, that tightness, that claustrophobia. I'm going to move the thing that got you all crunched in, the thing, and I'm going to mm -hmm. bring you into a large place. Yes. See, it, it speaks, these verses speaks about the very character of who God is, mm -hmm. the very essence of God. He's the God of the large place. He's, yes. you know, and Joshua, even Joshua, you know, when he was going into the mm -hmm. promised land and they crossed over to Jordan, mm -hmm. and then when Achan had stolen uh, the money and stolen the accursed thing and 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 when they suffered defeat and Joshua's on his face crying out to God and and God you know Joshua says these words I wish we'd have stayed on the other side of the mm -hmm. Jordan and what he was saying is we'd have been all right all crowded up all of us on that one side and just in that little land but that's not who God is God is the God that brings us into a large place he's not just the God of barely right, enough. Right, right. He's not the God of just enough. He's the God that is more than enough. Mm -hmm. The God that overflows. And so the question he asked, well, so if, if God is on my side, what, 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 what can man do? What can happen to me in this world? You know, man and his inventions and weapons and things formed and things to come and famine when you know he's with you. Yes, My God. Yes. I mean, when you really know God's mm -hmm. with you, mm -hmm. then that's that insurance and fear will dissipate. Yes. He says that yes. verse seven, first lady, the Lord taketh my part with them that hate, that help me. Therefore shall I see my desire upon them that hate me. It is better to trust yes. in the Lord than to put confidence yes, yes, in man. Yes. It is better to trust mm -hmm. in the Lord yes. than to put confidence in princes. And so, so here you go. Here he goes again, repeating, yes, because yes, he wants yes. us to get into a meditation. Because meditation. we can say so many things, but they don't. They don't mm -hmm. get inside of us, mm -hmm. and we see that. Mm -hmm. We can come to church and have an incredible time. We can have an incredible time of worship. And then three minutes later, wow. we, 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 we forgot what we said. And James said, in the book of James, James said, we like somebody looking in the mirror. Wow. Then when we leave, we forget yeah. that our wow. God is an awesome yes. God. Yes. God is with us. Yes. You know, we, we praise in one moment. The devil mm -hmm. got us acting schizophrenic. He mm -hmm. got us praising and worshiping. And, and then all of a sudden, the next moment, we crying and weeping and all of that because we lack faith. We mm -hmm. lack what God is saying. And he says, now... Mm -hmm. Standing in the mirror, mm -hmm. stand, you see yourself in the mirror, mm -hmm. then when you leave, you forget who you are. Yes. You forget that yes. you are more yes. than a conqueror. Yes. You forget all of that. We, we have to understand that. So mm -hmm. he, he, he repeats this twice, mm -hmm. too. The yes. other one he said mm -hmm. did four times. All right now. And now he repeats this. Yes. It is better to trust in the Lord. Mm -hmm. It is better to yes. trust in the Lord. Then to put confidence in man, right. he takes it up a level. All right. Then in princes or kings or mm -hmm. queens or, mm -hmm. or whatever, mm -hmm. trust in the Lord. Yeah. So when we trust in 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 the Lord, we're not going to put our confidence in man. We're putting our confidence, our trust, our hope, our desires, everything that we believe. We're putting it in the Lord because the Lord, He's flawless. Yes. The Lord never fails. Yes. The Lord has a track record second to none. I'm going to trust in, on the winning side. I'm going to put my trust in the winning side. I, I don't want to trust in nobody else because man fails us. Yes. As, as, as good as man can get and, and as good as the heart of man can try to be, 
man will fail you. Yes. So yes. we understand that God never fails. Yes. God is yes. omnipotent. He's all powerful. He's omniscient. He's all knowing. He, he, he's, 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 he's our God and, and he doesn't want us to, to feel like we can't come to him. Exactly. The psalmist says it's better. Better. It's better to trust in the Lord. And, and here we go again. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart. Yeah. Lean not to thine own Put understanding. All on him. In all thy ways acknowledge God. He will direct thy path. We trust in God because we know he will bring us to a large place. We yes. trust in God because we know he has abundant mercies and, and he's rich in mercies. We trust in God because he's unfailing. He's never failed us. And I told, us, told you earlier um, in a previous um, fear series that we sing that song. Jesus Christ never failed me yet. He never failed me yet. He never failed me yet. Jesus Christ never failed me yet. And I said, take that yet off there because we don't we don't even have to put that yet on a yet. Right. It has the, the connotation of the possibility that it might happen, that it right. may happen, that it's possible that he might fail. No, Jesus Christ will never fail. And he and when we understand the psalmist to reiterate this, to say this over and over, he says, I'm not going to put my confidence in men. I'm not going to put it in horses or chariots. I'm right. not going to put my, my confidence in governments or politicians. I'm not going to put my confidence in celebrities and song artists. I'm not going to put my confidence in, in people on, in Hollywood. I'm not going to put my confidence on, in people on TV. I'm not going to put my confidence yes. in the news media. I'm not going to put my confidence in the governments. I'm not going to put my right. confidence... He goes up from just man to princess. That's people in authority. That's people right. That's people who most people, royalty, people right. they look up to. People yes. who, yes. if somebody comes to town, it's, oh, did you know? No, he says, I'm not putting my confidence in man. My trust is in the Lord because it's better for me to trust in somebody who won't fail me. Yes. It's better for me to trust in somebody who Can't has fail. an excellent, super part excellent, non-failing track record. Right. And the Check only one, resume. the only one like that is God Himself. So it's better for us to trust in the Lord, saints of God, and put our confidence in Him. And then in verse eleven and twelve, He picks it up again, and He says, "They compass me about, yea, they compass me about, but in the name of the Lord, I will destroy them." They yes. come, verse twelve, so they compass me about like bees. Uh huh. So, wow. so here, Swarming. yeah. So, so here again, He's trying to get us to get it. He's trying to, you know, the power, the power of understanding what we're saying, that power of understanding. So again, he repeats it. So mm -hmm. he repeats the same thing in, in the first four verses, and then he comes out and then he repeats the same thing in verse eight and nine, the same principle he's trying to get, the same mm -hmm. word. He echoes it twice because he wants us to really get it in our spirit. Yes. So here he says, now, yeah, they're going to come past you. He said, they, they all nations. Mm -hmm. and, and, and here he's going to the worst possible scenario, the worst possible times in your life. Thank Ooh, that's Jesus. good. Thank I felt like that was for somebody. Thank you, Jesus. You know, sometimes people say, this is the worst time in my life. Mm -hmm. that's, that's what he's saying. If every yeah. nation, if everybody come against you, the psalmist says, when my mother and my father forsake me, he, he's taking it to the, mm -hmm. to the extreme. It, it yes. doesn't matter. The Lord will pick me up. So he says, if they all compass you, your worst possible uh, 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 time, your worst possible thing that can happen, and we think in the pandemic and all mm -hmm. of this, this is the worst of time. God says, in all of this, He's going to be there. I'm going to trust in the name of the Lord. He, then he says, they can pass me about, yea, they can pass me about, but in the name of the Lord, I will destroy them. And he says it again Thank in Jesus. verse number number 12. So actually he says it three times. Four times. Like, four times. He says it four times here. You know, it is, and it's back to back, yes. back to back. Nations can pass me about in the name of the Lord, I will destroy them. Mm -hmm. They can pass me about, yea, they can pass me about, mm -hmm. but in the name of the Lord, I will destroy them. Yes. They can pass me about like bees. They are mm -hmm. quenched as the fire of thorns. Yes. For the name, their name is again, yes. for the name, name of the <laughs> Lord, I will destroy you them. You got to use the name. He's talking about battle. He's talking about mm -hmm. for us spiritual yes. warfare. Yes. And what he's saying, you yes. got to understand, don't let the devil make you make you cower down yes. don't let him bully you because he surrounded you 
And you know, that was something they used to do in school. If you want to really, everybody, they, they get all around you. Like they gonna, you know, you know. So, so that is a technique mm -hmm. of the enemy to yes. hit you with everything he got. He'll throw that, you know, we got that old saying, he'll throw the, the kitchen, kitchen sink. He'll throw the kitchen sink at you. And he'll do more than that. He'll throw every plate, every cup, and every cabinet. He'll throw the refrigerator, the stove, and everything else at you. But guess what? Mm -hmm. Guess what? Mm -hmm. You're going to win. Yes, yes. You say, how you know? I read the end of the book. Yes, yes, yes. I read the end of the book. Yes, we did. Yes. We win. Mm -hmm. I know you're not supposed I know you're supposed to start in the first and then I would go all the way through, but I skipped to the <laughs> end. And in the end, we win. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It is total, absolute victory, and the enemy is defeated. Yes. We yes. win. So just those verses there. He, he's got a pattern here that is different here in the 118 Psalms. Mm -hmm. He gets something and he keeps repeating it yes. so we can get it in yes. our spirits. Yes. And so in, in that, those four verses, 10, 11, 12, or should I say three verses, 10, 11, and 12, and he talks about being compassed four different times. And he talks about in the name of the Lord, I will destroy them. The Lord will I destroy them. This, this is, this is the, the host he talks about that's compassing him. That's, that means it's not just one thing. It's not just, you know, if you say it's not one thing, it's something else. You know, it's, it's a host of things that that's, have come up against us. You know, this time that we're, that we're in, it's not just a pandemic that we're dealing with. Right. This, this, this time, is, it's a whole lot of stuff we're dealing yes. with. It's, it's the economic situation that we're dealing with. Absolutely. It's, it's the, the racial it um, bias and injustice that we're dealing with. It's, it's the um, judicial and government systems, the systemic racism that we're dealing with. It's, it's the um, COVID-19 and all I of the things kidding. that comes with it, the mask wearing and social distancing and not working and not going to church. And it's a lot of things that are... Um, we're dealing with right now. It's a lot of things that have come up against us. But what, what he's saying is don't fear those who can destroy the body. Don't dis, don't fear those that, that come up against you. Because if God be for us, he's more than the world against us. This host that's encamping against us. He says they're going to come up and swarm around us like bees. Like bees. Now, now don't none of us like bees. Right. Don't none of us like wasps. Don't none of us like hornets. You know. Don't let bumblebees come. Don't you? We don't. We don't like insects like that. But he's saying they're swarm. It's not just one, but they're swarming around you. Even when the enemy comes in like a flood, thank you, Jesus. The spirit of God will lift up a standard against it. You got to understand. He says, even though this is happening, he says they are quenched as the fire of thorns. They might come against me as a wild fire. We see those fires in California on the news. We see those fires, you know, in um, the forest. And we, when we see them, we see how they blaze and how they come. But he said, this fire is like the fire of thorns. Now, thorns have a spectacular blaze. They have a, this, all this brilliant, you know, pop, you know, and, but they don't last long. Right. Real thorns, quick. The fire of thorns, it burns out quick. He yes. says, even though they're coming against me like a swarm of bees and like a blazing wildfire. Swarm of bees. He said, I'm going to put it out. The Lord will put your fire out. And all of them got stingers. The, the Lord will exterminate your bees. Yes. He will Think take that it. swarm of bees and get rid of it. He will take that wildfire and extinguish it. He says, I am the Lord that helpeth thee. Yes. He says, thou hast thrust sore at me that I might fall. He says, you know, you put Lord. me on the edge of a cliff and I'm about to fall off. But you know what? He says, but the Lord helped me. The Lord grabbed me. The Pulled Lord me kept back. me from falling. The Lord kept me from, from, from good, toppling over. The Lord That's kept good. me from, from um, being um, annihilated. He says, yes. the Lord is my helper. The Lord is my strength and song. We got a reason to sing. We got it. We because because he is our strong power. Strength, he is our strong song. champion. He is our strong deliverer. We become my salvation. Yes, he, that's the three S's. S S S S S S S. Not an S O S, but an S S S. He's our strength. He's our song and our salvation. Yes, and you know what he did. You know what he did, first lady, because. Uh, they all came, you know, in life there are things that come and look like everything that's coming is stinking. The, the, the mm -hmm. job layoff, the furloughs, mm -hmm. the economy mm -hmm. is, is stinging us now. And and then, you know, the stuff with, with, with death and the stuff with sickness, even with 
with young people and the people we are associated with and the different ones that we need to hold up in prayer even among us and things are happening that that's a stinger that's and you know when you get when you get stung you know you have to get that out of you mm -hmm. and i think some people they've been the the the, the, the the sting, it, you know, as far as the bee is gone, but he left the stinger in us. Mm -hmm. And that's so powerful because mm -hmm. even when this is over, we got to make sure we get the stingers yes. out. But you know the one thing about, the one thing that when, when we see they came, you know, this right here, and I'm, we're going to move. He, he says he, he says here about they compassion me. And he talks about all the compassion. And then he says they compassion me about like bees that swarm all those bees. But bees produce something. Honey, 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 honey. His word is sweeter than the honey and the honey. So when, when, <laughs> when, when I get past the stingers, when he move all that, what they was trying to do, guess what's going to be left? Mm -hmm. what, what you meant for evil. Yes. He's going to turn it around it's for gonna your good. It's going to be all sweet. <laughs> what you think was just all horrible. Mm -hmm. In the end, mm -hmm. it's going to be sweet. It is going to mm -hmm. be sweeter mm -hmm. than That's honey good. and the honeycomb. Yes. Yes, are you yes. listening to me so don't worry about them trying to bully you and the things in life life is a bully mm -hmm. life will bully yes. you life you know first lady if we're not careful if you don't have the word of god life will become the worst nightmare you've ever lived life right. will become a right. nightmare right. with everything that is happening so mm -hmm. so but god says you know what yes they're there don't deny it's, it's right. there right right we but, keep, we're keeping it real. Yeah. But, <laughs> but greater is but he yes, that is with yes, them. Yes, yes, It's not that I'm in denial. Mm -mm. It's just that I understand who yes, is with me. Yes, that's it. So that's if, if I don't panic, it, it doesn't it. mean that I don't understand what's real. Right. It doesn't mean right. that I'm asleep. It just mm -hmm. means that I understand yes. Who is yes. with me? Mm -hmm. So I'm not going to ask the question the disciples ask, carest thou not that we perish? Because mm -hmm. Jesus was asleep on the boat in the storm. And they ask him, don't you care? Mm -hmm. The mere fact he was on the boat should have let them know it, it couldn't go down. Right. The boat couldn't sink because he's on the boat. So even though life will come past you about, but he, it gets into what you were starting to talk about, the three S's in verse 14, but mm -hmm. verse 15, first lady. Wow. Something is happening here in verse 15. Yeah, wow, well, in verse 15, the voice of rejoicing and salvation is in the tabernacles of the righteous. The right hand of the Lord doeth valiantly. Wow. He says, the voice of rejoicing. This is this is unrestrained jubilation and praise. Unrestrained praise. This is this is that Davidic praise. I'm a dance like David dance. I'm yes. going to praise him with my whole heart. I'm right. going to give the Lord everything I've got. Yes. I don't care who mocks me. I don't care who laughs at me. I don't care who, who points a finger at me. I don't care what they say. This is my, my praise of jubilation. This is, this is, and he says, this is going to happen in the tabernacles of the righteous. This means this, this is going to happen in the camps of the saved people. Right. It's got to be some praise in your camp. It's yes. got to be some praise in your house. Yes. It's got to be some praise in your tabernacle. It's got to be some praise in your temple. Right. Because I can't praise God for you. Right. Pastor can't praise God for you. Right. You got to praise God for you. You got to give him your best praise. Right. Right. When, when right. you understand that, that he's brought you out of a horrible pit, when you understand that he's established your going, when you understand that he's given you new mercies, when you understand what you called upon him and he answered you, when, and set you in a large place when you understand that when you trusted in him he delivered you when you when when the enemy come past you about you didn't have to fear because the lord helped you to destroy them that rose up against you you understand that it's time to praise god it's time for a praise break yes it's absolutely. time for a praise break absolutely it's because time his for mercy a praise break forever. put them little praise hands up his mercy endures forever yes so yes, we always yes. we Thank always you, always mm -hmm. always it's yes. time to praise and then he goes in verse verse 16 and he, he repeats that again the right. right hand of the lord is yes. exalted. Yes, he the says right it. hand of yes, the Lord. Yes, he says is it again. exalted. And, and what happened with that right hand of the Lord? It does what? Valiantly. Mm, mm, He's, mm. That right hand, Pastor. He says the right Ooh. hand of the Lord is is has done valiantly. He says that basically three times in in, in a couple of different ways. And he's saying what he's actually saying is the Lord has turned the tide. Yes. 
the, yes. the what looked like was going to destroy you, the Lord has turned the tide. <laughs> what looked like up. was going to bring you down, the Lord has turned the tide. Yeah, stood up. What, what, what looked like was going to, you know, harm you and hurt you and, and do you in, the Lord has turned the tide. Don't, we want God's hand in this. Yes. We want absolutely. God's hand in everything that absolutely. we do. We want the hand of the Lord to stay on us. We absolutely. want the hand of the Lord to stay in our in our finances. We want the hand of the Lord to stay in our home. We want the hand of the Lord to stay Surely. on our bodies. We want yes. the hand of the Lord to stay in our churches. We want the hand of the Lord everywhere. Never reject the hand of the Lord. We want the hand of the Lord because it's going to do valiantly. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be raised in victory. Yes. You know, like when you when you have a favorite team. You cheer for your team. Yes. When, when your team scores, your, your yes. team makes the winning basket or the winning touchdown or uh, the, the winning spike in volleyball, whatever it is, you know, you get excited. You just don't um, fold your hands right. in your lap right. And, right. And, right. And, or right. ball your fist up and just, you know. But when, when your team wins, you know what happens to your hand? Your hands go up in victory. Yes. Your yes. hands go up in victory. The, the hand of the Lord has done valiantly. Yes. It's raised in victory. That it's same raised. right hand. Yes. Red it's, it, yes, it's raised in that power. Right, it's raised in anointing. Right. It's raised, letting you and I know that God's hand, when God raises his hand, brothers and sisters, we've got the victory. Yes. When God absolutely. raises his hand, you there it your enemy is defeated beyond a shadow of a doubt. You when know, God raises his hand. You know hand, they used to do when they get victory, they do the wave. Everybody ooh, everybody come on, synchronized come on, the come world. On, come on, come on. You know, on. over over making a wave touchdown to, or yes. what, you know, pig skin running across a, a, a painted line, you know. And, mm -hmm. and, and and the world get excited about that. We have to get excited because verse seventeen, it blows it out now. the water. Come on now. Yes. Verse 17, he takes it to a whole another place. Yes. Because now you got to realize 16 verses before then what he's been saying mm -hmm. about being compassed, yes. what he's been saying about the different things that's happened Come to him. Against him. But then he mm -hmm. says that right hand of the Lord, that, that right hand. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank the you, right Jesus. hand of the Lord, the right hand of power. It's raised in power. It's, huh? not, it's not sitting down. It's not to the side. It's not, it's not, not down. But the, it's raised. And we know the Lord Jesus is the right hand of God. We know mm -hmm. that was raised in the resurrection. That was mm -hmm. raised in power. You can't yes. keep that right hand down. That it's, nothing, song. It, yes. it's nothing that you can do to keep the right hand mm -hmm. down. Do you know who the right hand is? Mm -hmm. But then he says in verse 17, uh, the yes. psalmist yes. make a confession. Mm -hmm. See, now that's what happens, First Lady, when you have word in you. And he told us to keep the word in our mouths. We say what God says in the midst of saying what God has said. Then there is this, 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 this spontaneous confession of the summons. When he talks about God's right hand does valiantly. When he talks about everything that God can do, he, quench, he quenches those bees, all the stingers. Mm -hmm. I like that. Mm -hmm. All yeah, the things all right. in life that has ever come to sting you. All right now. All Thank those you, things that Thank come you, to sting Thank you, Jesus. you. Hallelujah. God says, in the midst of all of that, I'm gonna turn I'm gonna turn the swarm of bees into honey. Thank all right. You, and yes. you're gonna be saying, Oh, taste and see, for the Lord is good. Yes. So, but in the midst of, of the greatness of God that we started talking about and we've seen in those first sixteen verses, it, it leads the psalmist first lady to make a confession. Mm -hmm. It leads them to make a confession considering the mercy of God. We talked about we talk about the mercy of God and how great God is. He makes a confession in yes. verse 17. And his confession is, I shall not die. Wow. But live. Yes. And yes. declare the works of the Lord. Unpack that for us. No, no, ma no matter. Unpack that. Everything, like Pastor said, that, that has transpired in these previous verses. All of the enemies coming up against him in, in his distress when he was... Um, encompassed four different times it says right. he was compassed about when he was come against like bees when he was come against like um wildfires he says through all of that even when they thrust he was thrust sore like they wanted to thrust him over a cliff he says even in all of that he says i ain't dying it ain't my time yet no <laughs> it ain't my time I hashtag that it ain't my time he says i shall live and not die and declare the works of the Lord. 
He there says, he says, you're not going to die. I'm not going to die. You got to say like the psalmist says, I'm not dying. Hashtag. I'm not dying I here. I shall live. I'm not dying. I'm living. I right. shall live. I got I'm living. I'm telling the world. I'm declaring God's works. Purpose. I, I got, I've got, I've got, I've got something to do here. Right. That's I, it. I've got purpose. I've come to this time. Yes. Come I've to come kingdom. to the kingdom. For such a time. You are living during this time, not just to be taking up space and inhaling air. You are here because those whom he foreknew, Paul says in Romans 8, 29, mm -hmm. he also predestined. Mm -hmm. He inserted us here right now. So Thank why would Jesus. we die mm -hmm. at our time of purpose mm -hmm. for the reason why we're here? You know, I think about Melita, where that snake came out that fire. Mm -hmm. That Paul's yes, on his Paul. way because he's mm -hmm. got to get to. He's got to get to Caesar. He's got, got to get to, to Caesar. Yes. He has a testimony. He's the yes. one that's been chosen to speak to Caesar, mm -hmm. this emperor, the, the the world ruler at the time. Mm -hmm. And Paul has been chosen to speak to Caesar. He he understands that. The Bible says he could have had his freedom if 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 he wasn't so persistent, but he yeah, understood uh -huh. that he wanted to get the gospel to the most powerful person in the world. So Paul knew that his destiny, and then when he was the shipwrecked and they owned Melita mm -hmm. and out of out of the he started fire. a fire mm -hmm. and here come this viper, mm -hmm. this poisonous yeah. thing. Yes. And the Bible says it lash on Paul, it fastens yes. on him. And yes. everybody's looking, oh, they, and they start waiting then first lady. They, yeah, they, when he's going to fall dead. Yeah, he's going to die. They, he's going to die. They, they say, he's probably escaped to see. He's mm -hmm. a murderer. He's a murderer. That, you know, I just, that man, has you, escaped to see. That's get over. Opinions. You got to get old folks' opinions Opinions and stuff. of people. Everybody mm -hmm. know everything about you, and you don't even know you. So you got to get, he's a murderer. And look, he's going to, he, he, he thought he got away, but he's going to die. The snake going to kill him. And they sat there and watched for him to die. They sat there and watched for him to be destroyed. It's sad, but sometimes people are watching for you to fail, waiting for you to make a mistake yes. and take glory in that. Mm -hmm. Paul shook that thing off shh, into the fire. What meant to kill him got to kill. He burned up mm -hmm. what was trying to kill him. Mm -hmm. Shook it off in the fire. Shook it off in the fire. You know what he was saying in so many words? I'm not dying here on this island. Mm -hmm. I got purpose in yes, Rome. Yes, yes. I, I shall live, live and, and declare. Not I'm not going to die here. Mm -hmm. Why? Because mm -hmm. Esther, you have come to the kingdom yes. for such a time as this. And Esther, you're in this kingdom. So now it's time for you to rise up. Mm -hmm. Rise up. Because you have purpose. Mm -hmm. And your purpose is to declare the works of yes, the Lord. Yes, yes. So that's your confidence and security. You you got to you got to have confidence after all I've been through, I've still got joy. Yes. After all I've been through, I'm gonna live and not die. Yes. Hashtag I'm not dying. Hashtag I'm living. Hashtag I'm telling the world. Hashtag yes. I'm declaring God's works. I hashtag got work to do. Right. Hashtag I've got purpose. Yes. You know, understand you're here for a specific reason. Yes. Know that know that God placed you and I here. This psalm began with with thanksgiving and trust, and it's, and even though we didn't go to verse twenty nine, it's going to end with thanksgiving and trust. Uh, the I latter mean. two verses, even though we didn't um, have them in our text, the latter two verses in Psalms one eighteen say, "God is the Lord, which hath showed." Excuse me, Thou art my God, and I will praise Thee. Yes, Thou art my God, I will exalt Thee. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for there he is. is good. There it for is. For his mercy endureth forever. So we had all these distresses. We had all these encompasses. We had all these tests and trials. We had all these bees and all these fires in the middle of, oh, give thanks unto the Lord in verse 1. And in verse 29, he, he, he reverberates verse number 1 through 4. And he reverberates in the last two verses. And he says again, oh, give thanks unto the Lord for he is good. And no matter nice. what you get yeah, and his mercy yes. endures forever. No matter forever. what we've gone through. Sandwiched in between our tests and trials on the outside, them buns should be thanks and praises. Yes. It should be thanks and trust. It should be thanksgiving and praise. Sandwiched in between our 
trials and tribulations on the outside cover that cover your cover your trials cover your tribulations yes. cover your distresses with praise and thanksgiving cover it with trust and thanksgiving trust and thanksgiving helps repel and remove fear when you understand we've got to thank him we got to yes. trust him and when yes. we trust and thank him no matter what's in the middle yes. no matter what's in the middle when we thank him and we praise him Put it on, that's your end caps. Those are your bookends. Thanksgiving and trust. Yes. Trust and thanksgiving. When you make them your bookends, no matter what's in the middle, God will take care of it. Yes. God will help you to overcome it. God will bless you and see you through it. So no matter what's in the middle, no matter what's in the middle. No matter what. Praise and thanks and give thanksgiving to God. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is yeah, good, for good. his mercies endureth forever, Pastor. And I'm not going to die. I'm going to mm -hmm, live because mm -hmm. I got something. I got, I got something I'm going to do for yes. him. Yes. I'm going to declare not my works, but his work. I owe him. Yes. There yes, should be something yes. deep within us that say, you know, I owe the Lord. How can you really love the Lord and really serve the Lord is to love people and and to serve people mm -hmm. because when we if we really want to show god how much we love him we love others yes, we love others yes, and what we do yes. to in that love what we have for others we declare the works of mm -hmm. the lord the works of god we're going to declare it right when the enemy thought he was going to snuff us out right when he thought he was going to put us on a small place where we wouldn't have time or we wouldn't have we couldn't expand god says i brought you into a large place now and he's going to do that. So when he yes. brings us into the large place, Thank first lady, Jesus. it's that Thank challenge Jesus. to declare mm -hmm. the works of the Lord. Yes, trust him this week. Trust him. Trust him. When you can't trace him, trust him. That's good. That's when good. you can't like trace that. him, trust him. All right, Sister Rose, I see you. I see you shouting. I see your license plate. I see you saying, trust him. Trust him. Trust, trust him. Every trust. time I see your car and see that license plate, trust him. Trust him. Trust, trust him. him. It's trust speaking him. to me. Trust him. Trust him. Trust, trust him. him. No when matter you, what. Yes, no matter what's in the middle. God says, trust me. God says, give me thanksgiving because I'll help. I'll help you. I'll, I'll save you from the cliff. I'll keep you from falling. Now unto him that is able Amen. to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. Yes. To the only wise God be, only be wise glory God. and majesty, dominion and power both now and forever. Amen. His mercies endure Forever. forever all right god bless you we thank y'all for joining us on today for thankful thursday yes. be thankful <laughs> today be thankful today have a day of thanksgiving yes um, and every day is a day of thanksgiving but yes. be be um even more thankful on today realizing that his mercies endure forever his mercy and, and, and tell somebody of the mercies of God. Tell somebody you ain't gonna die. So that that's part of your job, to tell of His good works, to tell of His mercy, to tell of His goodness, to tell of His loving kindness, that. to tell because He's it, it it's ongoing, it's perpetual. His mercy and love is continual. It will never fail. All right. Now remember, you can join us on our website, AxeMinistriesOnline.org, yes. and connect with us. Um, if you have prayer requests, please send them in to wtebroadcast at gmail.com. We will connect in prayer with you. We love you. We're praying for you. And we wish God's best for all God's people. We love you and miss you. And we are thanking God for just this time of fellowship online. We thank him for just being able to see your comments, to hear your heart, to hear your thoughts, to see what God is saying unto you. We thank God for you sharing, 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 sharing. Continue to share. Um, just take 10, 15 minutes a day to just just do that. Just yes. just make that a share time. This is this is my prayer Declare time. Declare the works of the Lord. Yeah, this is my prayer time and this is my share time. Yes. All right now. Prayer time and share time. Yes. That's you, the works of the Lord. Yes. Declare Love him. This is declaring the others. Yes, that's declaring the works of the Lord. Yes. Well, that's not just a nice um scripture that we can no. quote. This is something that we're going to live out. Declare and share. Yes. Declare the works of the Lord by yes. sharing the feed, yes. by sharing yes. the live stream, by sharing um, what God has given unto us and what he's downloaded into us. All right. Um, today is Thursday. If you haven't gone by 
from 9 to 12, you can go by the churches in Conway or North Little Rock and pick up a box, a free box of food, wallets, the supplies last. Um, some non-perishables there, so yes. um, go ahead and pick those boxes up. Um, pick them up for someone who may be in need, um, that you might know um, has a need, a single family, parenting, um, older gen um, generation, some of the senior citizens, or someone that you just might know falling on hard times, may have lost their job, may have been furloughed during this time. Um, there are people who need help. That's why we are here. We are yes. here to help. Okay, God bless you. Um, Pastor, we're having parking lot service at both the both North locations. Little Rock location and both the Conway location this com coming Sunday. We have heard your cry. Yes. <laughs> we have heard your cry and pitied your every groan. <laughs> so just like um, the psalmist said, I cried unto the Lord and he heard me. He heard we, me. We, we hear you um, loud and clear. God bless you. We thank you for joining us. Um, join us on the prayer line tomorrow is fearless friday yes you do not want to miss fearless friday rewind and recap you don't want to miss fearless friday and then those millennials and those of you who are in generation z and and x those of you who are up to age 40 join us tomorrow at 9 p.m on the line um, the zoom line join us tomorrow evening at 9 p.m um, all of you who are up to age 40 um so that we can um, unwind and unmute, okay? Uh, Amen. That's, that's Friday, coming Sunday, we, the parking lot services. We So those of you who are in Christian education, this special note, those of you who are in Christian education, should be all of us. Yes. <laughs> it should be all Absolutely. of us in Christian education. Absolutely. Those of you who are in Christian education on Sundays, you might want to come to church early and, and do Christian education from your car, from your phone, so that... Um, you'll get a good parking space and you'll be on time as we switch over from Christian education to parking lot service. Those in North Little Rock, you might want to come early to the parking lot service. Um, just a special note, if you want to get there and you can still be on Zoom in Christian education on your phones or your tablets, even if you have your laptop or something that you might hook up in your car or it's fully powered, you can do that as well. So. Um, don't forget Sunday, come early for North Little Rock so that you can be on time for the parking lot service, okay? Yes, amen. And in Conway, um, go it's ahead and tag somebody. Go ahead and, and let somebody know. Go ahead and share. Um, email somebody, text somebody, FaceTime somebody, um, inbox somebody, direct message somebody. Let, let somebody in Conway know that we will be having service on the parking lot in Conway. So go ahead and let somebody know so that um, they can join us in that 12 o'clock service in Conway. Absolutely. God bless you. We love you. Stay focused. Mm -hmm. Stay fearless. All right. In and Jesus' name, amen. amen. God bless you. We love you. Have a thankful Thursday. Yes. In Jesus' name. Till tomorrow.